Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. Now, we all know that Senator Kunz is in the country and we are aware that he met with Raila Molodinga at a secret location. I believe you have seen several YouTubers who have done uh, videos saying that Senator Kunz is in the country and they met and he met Raila Molodinga secretly. Kwa mara nyingine tena baada ya miezi minne unusu Senator Wajimbo la Delaware nchini Marekani Christopher Andrew Kunz yuko nchini safari hii akija kuangazia tena shughuli alikuwa na mkutano wa siri na kinara wa azimio la umoja One Kenya Raila Odinga kujadili mazungumzo ya maridhi ya Odinga na Rais William Ruto kupitia kwa mtandao wake wa Twitter Odinga alisema alifurahishwa na mkutano huo wa kubadilishana mawazo na kunsa dhuhuri ya Jumapili if you remember yesterday, there was a video which I shared in this channel regarding that information that surfaced about the pending visit of uh, Kunz. So that is the thing we talked about yesterday, if you remember that video, when we talked about the fear to open server. I went through comments, all comments. I went through comments, several comments, and I could tell that Many people are pessimistic over this uh, arrival of Kunz, over this meeting between Kunz and Raila, and another meeting that's going to take place between Kunz and Ruto. We shared some brief history of Kunz being the person who played that role of handshake, and from the comment section, I could tell that nobody is interested in handshake. Commentators, 90% of, the comment, of the, those people commented were not uh for the handshake and i agree with them because right now raila molodinga needs to know that kenyans are not for the handshake the five agendas which they fronted uh at the dialogue uh, committee for the talks the five agendas which one of them is high cost of living in fact what raila molodinga should talk about in subsequent meetings the the talk should revolve around the reintroduction of uh subsidies because it is okay that the government is making some moves that are geared towards or aimed at reducing the high cost of living but until we get there because this is just a scientific approach until we get there they should come up with a way of containing the prices i think Raila Molodinga should base his talks on that of course they have met but i still believe that they will still meet because a meeting between Raila and Ruto maybe will not take place soon. But a meeting between Raila and Kunz, Kunz being someone like a, a go-between. You know, like when you have like a two, two places and you have to cross a bridge. So Kunz is a bridge in this scenario. Raila on this side, Ruto on this side. At the center is, uh, is a bridge. So bridge is Senator Chris Kunz, the Delaware senator. I don't want to give you a, another history of, of Kunz to tell you that he has been uh, a senator since 2010. No. Those are things that I believe you know. But let's focus about why do we think Kunz could have made this abrupt uh, visit of, of Kenya. We talked about part of those details yesterday. But the biggest thing, maybe, like I said yesterday, maybe Kunz still believed that he can rein in on Raila Molodinga to drop certain key points within the agenda. That cannot happen and should not happen. I remember in April there, Raila rejected Biden's call to call off the demonstrations. He rejected it. One of the things that I think Raila Molodinga could have given as a demand from Azimio is the reinstatement of those security which were withdrawn. That is condition number one, which I think and I believe Raila must have uh, fronted in that discussion. Because, you know, Raila was on a, a separate meeting at the Sierra County, I believe. Eh? But then he had to short 
cut short that meeting because of that arrival of our coons. So that's why you find that he had to go there to meet coons and discuss over issues which were pending. So I think this time round, maybe, I don't know whether I should be pessimistic or I should be optimistic, but my audience, a couple of my audience are pessimistic over this. And the biggest thing that I remember hearing or reading from my audience is the issue of server. I think in the issue about Kuns, they are just address. I mean, it has to be done. There is no way to it. It must be done. I remember what Matakarua said yesterday. I mean, a day before yesterday. One of the things that is bedeviling William Samoy Ruto or troubling William Samoy Ruto is that recognition from Azimio that he is the president. That is what is bothering him. In fact, that is what is giving him sleepless nights. That recognition. But you see, Matakarua said that the only way, if you want us to recognize you, the only way is just open that server, let us go through the numbers, and then we shall recognize you. That was what Matakarua said. And I have a video that supports that statement. Just listen to this video. Tutamtambua wakati sava itapunguliwa tuone kura zili Sababu sisi wanaazimio tunajua alie chaguliwa rais ni Raila Amolo Odinga Uyo ndiyo His Excellency the People's President For a recognition to be done, open sava I believe that is the stand that uh, Raila Amolo Odinga has Maybe Kunz anawambia Raila kindly recognize William Ruto as the president. So I'm just imagining that Raila is telling Kunz that that can be done only if they open that server and we go through the server, do a fresh audit or do a, do a proper audit so that we can establish what could have happened. Because to date, Raila has not believed that Alipoteza. Ali and as a meal, people have not believed that Ali Poteza. And I think Raila Molodinga has all the rights to demand for that opening of the server. And I agree with most of my commentators here, most of the uh, my audience. Subscribers here tell me that they cannot take anything short of opening of a server. So if that is the case, then I think Kunz in that meeting of tomorrow, because they understand there's a meeting between him and... Uh, and uh, Ruto, I don't know that there will be another meeting between him and Gachagua because I think the meeting should just border around just to be concentrated on uh, Raila and Ruto. Raila and Ruto. Those are the only people who are supposed to, Kunz should be meeting. I, mean, I think I'm just, that is just my opinion, but I think to salvage this situation, this meeting should only be between these two. Just like what Obasanjo did. Obasanjo also had a meeting with the two. Okay, it's unfortunate that Mama Sulu, when she came here, that meeting did not take place. And I, I believe it didn't take place. And uh, But uh, since the government has not denied the fact that Mama Sulu could have come to Kenya, it remains to be true. That allegation from Raila Molodinga remains to be true. Let's just say, for example, Kunz uh, manages to convince William Ruto that now, since uh, I've talked to your brother and uh, it looks like this server must be audited, then I think it's good if we have it audited. So I think this is this is going to give a, a positive uh, or rather green light to the likes of uh, John Joroge. Because, you know, John Joroge being the ICT person of Azimio was the first person who said that server which you were given, we need the correct server. So, and that has always been the issue here since last year. It's almost one year now. Tangulo Wakati is Mambo Zifanyike. Almost one year. Because I think the, 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 the case was in somewhere there in, in, in September. Now we are in, uh, in uh, 13th of August. So we are like 17 days or 18 days uh, away from, uh, from that date. It's almost one year, to be honest. Almost one year. So if... Kunz agree. Uh, Kunz, the issue is Kunz and uh, Ruto. If they agree that now since uh, this has happened, then uh, 
we just have to audit this server for, for purpose of uh, information to the public because it's just about it's all about public interest so i think this move uh, of uh kuns to come to kenya imeshangaza one gachagua ikashangaza two otangula ikashangaza three mudavadi even moses kuria the likes of uh kimani chungwa murkomen sudi wengi wote wameshangazwa kwa sababu hawakudhania itafanyika hivi kwa sababu walisema hii ni affair ya Kenya sio affair international but the international community are now here inawabidi wasikize because they have to listen to these people they must listen to azimio so the five agendas of azimio to me according to me naona kama zote zitakuwa adopted the server issue the high cost of living the IEBC formation by partisan approach naona kama hizi zote itabidi William Ruto at T at there is no way out the only way out here is just to T so ladies and gentlemen what do you think could have been discussed in that meeting i want to tell you to tell us below the comment section what you think could have been discussed in that meeting what do you think kuns could have told Raila Molodinga or what do you think Raila Molodinga could have told Kunz just tell us below the comment section there and uh, I will respond to each and every comment but uh, as I'm winding up please if you've not subscribed to this channel I'd like to kindly request you to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to hit the notification bell it's so important if you've not done that before so that every time I upload any video, you will always be getting notifications on your smartphone, at the top of your smartphone there, telling you that video has been shared. So ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis.